horse for the speed of light. A cloud of dust and a hearty high or silver. The Lone Ranger. of the cattle industry in the western United States, the bands of outlaws that roamed the frontier turned to cattle rustling. The local sheriffs were unable to protect the lives and property of the ranchers, and it was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice that the range country became safe for honest men and women. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver, the Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Windy River. There's going to be trouble. I know Silver. Hurry! West of Windy River, the range was open and deserted. Texas Longhorns roamed free and wide, and only occasionally were they rounded up into compact herds. In the middle of just such a herd, a man stood stock still, eyeing the cattle who stood with lowered horns around him. Get away, you only long horns. Get. Oh, you don't. Look out there. Oh. Gosh, I thought I was a goner for sure that time. That horn come near going right through me. Now calm down. Calm down. Where's that doggone whistle? <whistles> doggone critters. I'm caught right in the middle of them without a horse. If they start getting spooky, they'll ride right over me, trample me into the dust. I won't never get out alive. This here country's plumb empty. There ain't nobody to help me. Plenty stars out tonight, Kimasabi. It's dark night, huh? Hello. Uh huh. Rain up. What matter? Don't you hear it, Tonto? Why you turn head from side to side? I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. There's a sound riding the wind, Tonto. And turn your head this way and listen. Oh, now Tonto here. That cattle. A herd of cattle, Tonto. Huh. They must be down in that valley. It's too dark to see them, but that's where the sound comes from. Why them acts so strange? They sound as if they're going to stampede. What make them that way? There's no storm to scare them. Wait, Tonto. Listen to that. Ah, what did that sound like to you, Tonto? Not not bird or animal. We're thinking the same thoughts, Kimasabi. That whistle must be from a man. He must be in danger. Him down in valley? Come on, Tonto, follow me. Get him up, scout. Loosen your guns, Tonto. There may be trouble. Ah, steady, Silver. Watch the ground. It's a bad place for a fall. Me hear whistle. Maybe so we yell, huh? No, Tonto, don't raise your voice. There may be all those cattle need to start them on the run. There are plenty of cows up ahead. Easy, easy now. Here are the steers, Texas Longhorns. We have to inch our way right into them. Uh, I'm plenty nervous. Easy, Silver. Not too fast, big fellow. Those horns are sharp. Me not see anything. Keep watching. 
That whistle came from the center of this herd. Why cattle getting herd in first place? Yes, it is strange. Watch out. Oh, him big fella. Look, Kimo Sabi, up ahead of us. That's right. They're mad. Mister, mister, get me out of here. Take it easy. We're coming. They're fixing the stampede. Get me out of here. We come. The cattle are moving. Come on, Silver. This is no time for going slow. Charge right through them. Get them up, Scout. Help, mister. Hurry up and pull those my feet. We're coming. On, Silver. The stampede. They're on the front. Quick, up behind me. Give me your hand. Up. Thanks, mister. I feel a heap better set on this horse. Don't thank me yet. We're not out of danger. Tunnel. It looked bad. We've got to ride right through the herd again. We've got to outrun them before they go completely loco. Use your guns. Fire to ground. Fight them away. We've got to get out. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Tell him up, Scout. Keep driving, mister. Keep driving. Hi, old Silver. Hi. Yes, sir. Sure is good to see the morning sun again. Last night when your pard picked me onto his horse right spank in the middle of them longhorns, I figured we was all done for. Ah, uh, we all right now. Yeah, thanks to him and you. I ain't seen him since he headed away in the dark. Who is he, Injun? Him friend. Yeah, but I couldn't get a good look at him. That white horse and the way he talked. Seems like I should have known who he was. Him come back soon. You ask him. Injun... Somebody galloping this way behind them cottonwoods. Reach for your gun. No, no, it's all right. That mask, friend. Hi! Hi, Kimasami! Randy, I have news for you. Mister, if it's bad, I've heard enough. I... Hey, what in thunder? Your mask. I left while it was still dark, Randy. A masked man? You're an outlaw. You and the Indian. Don't make that mistake. Tonto and I are on the side of the law, always. Don't take me from you, mister. Your mask and only outlaws wear... Oh, wait... Wait a second before I say something I'll be sorry for. Injun, your name is Tonto? Mm, that right. You said that before, only I wasn't given ear. And that horse, mister, I heard you call him Silver. Well, you're the Lone Ranger. Right. Randy, I found out what made your cattle stampede last night. You did? Here, look at this. <laughs> Steady, Silver. Oh, silver him not like scent. I'll be doggone. It's the hide of a wolf. They were scattered all around there, Randy. A row of them strung to windward of your cattle. They drifted down on your camp while you were sleeping. No wonder them longhorns run for it. The smell of wolf is enough to drive cattle loco. Hey, them wolves didn't put themselves there. You've got enemies, Randy. I reckon so, mister. I figured all that gent had to fight was the wind and the weather. Maybe some engines or renegade outlaws. But I never calculated I'd run into this. Do you know anyone who might have placed these wolf pelts there? I don't think so. My cowhands pulled up stakes and left the cause of a quarrel, but it wasn't them I... Hey, mask man, I've got it. I think I know who it might have been. Yes? Wolf pelts. Now, there ain't nobody more likely to leave him around than a fellow who makes his living hunting them, is there? A bounty hunter. Yeah. The more I think of it, the more likely it is. He's just the kind of armory who'd do a sidewinder trick like that stampede. Who is he? Name him, Randy, and we'll help bring him to justice. Ah, what's his name? Mister, he's a big fellow. With... Hey, somebody's shooting at us. Where they shooting from? I don't see a soul. There. Look, it's across the river. Where's my horse? I'll show them, Amory. There isn't time for that. Here, I'm kicking my stirrups loose. Hang on, both of you. You grab stirrups. Come on, Silver, that way. Don't let go of the stirrups. I'll keep them busy. Mister, where are you going? Heading for those cottonwoods along the shore. It's the only shelter there is. Are you all right? I'm hanging on for all I'm worth. Me hold stirrups, Kimo Sabi. We're almost there. Just a few more steps. Faster, Silver. Mask man, you saved us. You saved us. This is it. Whoa, Silver. Whoa. Kip. Now we have some protection, Tonto. Uh, Slip my rifle out of the saddle boot and get busy. Uh, Tonto, do it. And you, Randy. Here's one of my six shooters. You can... Randy. What matter, Kim Osabi? Why you not, sir? Oh, him lie on ground. Randy, I didn't notice. Uh, it ain't your fault, Mask Man. It was a right good idea. But that last bullet before we got in the shelter, I reckon that last bullet kind of nicked me. I feel kind of bad all of a sudden. Tonto, hurry. We've got to look after him. <laughs> Coming any closer, Injun? No. River too deep to cross. That's why Mask Friend not go cross river here. He headed upstream where he could swim silver across the water, huh? Ah, now you lay down. You hurt bad. 
I reckon it must keep you right busy, Injun. Mm, me keep them busy. Tending to me and firing shots, too. Not so bad men think we all here. If we'd have made a, this clump of cottonwood sooner, might not have stopped a bullet. Or... Oh, here, here. <laughs> you feel bad, huh? Yeah. Oh, the water sure tastes good, Injun. Am I hurt bad? No, uh, you'll not talk. No, I... No, you'll not talk. I gotta talk, Injun. You know, times like these is when I, I kind of miss that whistle of mine. Huh? I got it for my son. Him and his ma are back in Stockton. Funny thing, that whistle sure helped me quiet down them cattle till they stampeded for real. Are you not worry? Ain't worrying. Just thinking. Too bad that whistle got trampled under in that stampede. Jimmy would sure like that whistle. Uh, you'll not worry. Look what Tonto fix. Hmm? Where I'll be. Jim, <laughs> you, you carved a whistle. Sure sounds different. Uh, this one, Tonto carved with knife for bad men start shooting. Yeah. You're, you're giving it for my boy, Injun? Not right. For Jimmy. You keep. Tonto got another one. I don't know if I'll ever see him again. Or his mom. Oh, you'll not say that. Oh, nation. Sure wish the masked man would get to them hombres. Won't they never stop shooting? Keep shooting, boys. Randy's not cutting with some place. We want to make sure he don't come out. Travis! Hey, Travis. Get down off that horse for a bullet tumbles you off. Those hombres across the water shoot like magic. Hey, lifted my hat. Serves you right, Prairie. What were you doing back there anyway? I told you to watch up river in case somebody tried to outflank us. Somebody has. Huh? That masked hombre and the white horse, Travis. I had tailed back here when I seen him start. Oh, you're loco. He's over yonder in that clump of cottonwood. I seen him, I tell you. He'll be along, Prado. What hombre, huh? That means there's only Randy and the engine across from us, and Randy's wounded. I seen him catch a bullet just before they made shelter. Hey, Travis, listen. Shut up, hurry. But Travis, that mess. I said shut up. I've been figuring something out. Who's watching the ford downstream? Jed. Kino. All right, you hombres, on your horses. Huh? Do like I tell you. There are only two men over there now, and one of them's wounded. Follow me. We'll cross to the ford and close in on them. Yeah, without the mess, man, it'll be easy. If we want them cattle, we got to finish Randy for good. And that's just what we aim to do. Come on! Well, Silver, it's just as well we rode right after that rider. There are too many of them for one man to handle, but at least they can be stopped from crossing the river. We'll head right into the water, straight across. Oh, can see us already. Look, he's waving. Aye! Get Randy ready, Kimo Sabi. We'll have to move. We'll have to stop them from crossing the ford. In you go, Silver. I'm come now, Kimo Sabi. We got here just in time. How do you feel, Randy? Sorry we had to move you, but it was necessary. It wasn't far, mister. I did all right. We can stand them off here much better. They'll never cross the river at this point. Good thing you hear them talk. But they cross river, and them get us, huh? They're starting into the river now, Kimosabi. Don't shoot, I'll handle it. Uh. Now I'll put a scare into them. That's far enough, unless you want to taste lead. Travis, it's a mass man. He must have been listening. I told you to listen. Mister! Hand over Randy and go on your way peaceable. What do you want him for? That's my business. Hand him over and we'll let you and the engine go. You hear that, Tunnel? Uh-huh. Them mean to kill Randy. Oh, mister, I ain't gonna last much longer. You and the engine save yourselves. We'll never leave you, Randy. We can defend ourselves as long as we keep them from this side of the river. Well, I'm tired of waiting. What's your answer? If you want Randy, you'll have to get all of us. Here's my answer, Travis. <laughs> curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The attack of the outlaws was successfully beaten off. And as night fell over the Windy River, Tonto kept busy attending the wounded man. The Lone Ranger crept back from the river where he had braved death to fill the canteens. Yes, hello. I'll fill the canteens. Ah. I'm me glad you're back safe, Kimasabi. Travis and his band are determined to get Randy Tonto. Can he be moved any further? Oh, it's not good. Him plenty tired. Just bringing him from the cottonwood over here? Not right. Him plenty sick. He's got to live, Kimosabe. Mm, Tonto, not sure. I've been thinking it over, Tonto. I'll have to leave you. Huh? Travis will figure out some new way to get across the river. He's got too many men to handle except from this one spot. Mm, that's right. This is a natural defense position. But there's a limit to how long so few of us can hold out. Tonto, I'm going to ride to Stockton. Uh, me savvy. You bring back help, huh? You're needed here to tend Randy's wound. Besides, Silver and I can cover the ground faster. Here, you take canteen. No, Kimasabi. You'll need all the water you can get. Here, Silver. Mister, just a second. Randy, I thought you were asleep. I can't sleep, masked man. What is it? You're leaving, huh? You heard us? Yeah. Uh, here, you have drink water. No, no, I ain't thirsty. Mister. Yes? My, my wife and son, they're in Stockton. Yes, Randy? Will you... Tell him goodbye for me. Goodbye? Randy, oh, you're not... no need to fool me, mister. You're going to be all right. Oh, Tonto will care for you. You're mighty fine gents, both of you. But in case I ain't around when you come back, masked man... I'll talk to your wife and boy. Tonto made a, a whistle for Jimmy. Uh-huh. That lone ranger whistle now. Yeah. You carved it, Injun. You think Jimmy... Randy, can... do you want your boy to have this whistle that Tonto carved? Will you give it to him, mister? You'll give it to him yourself. Steady, Silver. Yep. Come on, boy. Injun. Uh, him go for help. He forgot to take the whistle for Jimmy. You hear, mask friend? Him say you give boy whistle. Yeah, but you That know... mean you got to get well, savvy? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon I'm going to try. Listen, that man here Lone Ranger right away. They're shooting. You not worry. Silver him and he pass. East from the Windy River, a flash of silver gleaming in the pale prairie moonlight, racing for help. The Lone Ranger and the Great Horse Silver. Come on, Silver. We've got to bring men. Cover the ground, Silver. Leaning forward in the saddle, his keen eyes searching the darkness beyond, his hand light on the reins, but guiding the great stallion surely over the rough trail. Watch out for that fallen cactus. Up, Silver. Hoofs thudding on the dry dirt, covering the ground in giant strides, racing for town. We're heading for Stockton, Silver. We've got to get more men before Travis attacks. Keep traveling, Silver. East from Windy River, the great white horse and the masked rider. Riding east, riding for help. Faster, Silver! Faster! Faster, Silver! <laughs> What's that? Oh, better take a look out the window. Oh, I ain't never seen anything like that in Stockton. Never before. Gosh, look at that big white horse. And all a man. Jim, what are you doing out of bed? Ma, look. The figure, maybe it's a lynching. What are you talking about? Well, you can see him clear in the moonlight. Look yonder. Why, it's Mr. Baker and Davy Andrews. And there's Mr. Burnside, the Wells Fargo agent. They've all got their horses. And guns. Look at that man on a white horse, Ma. What can it be? Jim. Jim, I'm frightened. Huh? I don't know what it is, but I wish your father was here. Ma, you, you don't think anything could have happened to Pa? I wish he was here. We'll head right back for the Windy River. Stick close together. Oh. Ma. Ma, where are you going? Jim, that man shouted something about the Windy River. That's where your father is. We've got to talk to that man. Stop! Wait! Wait, somebody! What is it? Mister, come here. Mister. The rest of you keep riding. I'll catch up. Come on, come on. You must be Mrs. Randy. Mister, tell me straight. What's wrong out there? Has anything happened to my husband? I thought I could get a posse together without arousing you, Mrs. Randy. Well, they're heading for the Windy, ain't they? You must be Jim. You're... How'd you know? From your father. He... He has a whistle for you, Jim. Mr. Please. Mrs. Randy, a gang of outlaws led by a man named Travis are after your husband's cattle. Travis? Gosh, 
That hombre's bad medicine. He and Tonto are on the bank of the river holding Travis' men off. Tonto? My Indian friend. But mister, I don't savvy. If my husband's being shot at by a lot of men, why didn't he do what you did? Why didn't he straddle his horse and come back here into town? He can't. He can't? Well, I don't savvy what... Mister... Mister, he's wounded. It's better not to move him just yet. But Tano's with him. That's why you come alone. That's why you made the long trip. The posse is heading west as fast as they can travel. We'll get Travis. I promise you that. Mister, you've got to save him. You've got to. Stay here and don't worry about your husband. Come on, Silver. Gosh, Travis and his bunch of murdering skunks. Ma, that fellow wore a mask. Look, he's hurt bad and can't be moved. We are... Jim. Son, what did you say? Did you say that man on the white horse wear a mask? Hmm. Pretty dark, Ma, but I seen it. I seen it under the brim of his stetson. A masked man. Jim saddle the horses. There's something mighty wrong. You think he's an outlaw, too? Saddle the horses. We're riding after your father ourselves. Why, Travis may be pouring lead at them right now. Saddle them horses. <laughs> More hours, it'll be dawn. Yeah, I reckon we missed that masked man when he rode off. We've been shooting all night, Travis. I wonder if that masked man got scared. Not that fellow, no, sir. Yeah. We gotta figure some way to finish Randy off mighty soon. There's that engine there, too. Engines don't count. If the masked hombre hadn't outsmarted us, we'd be across that river right now. Travis, you ain't figuring to rush the fort again. That's suicide. Yeah. Why don't we, we take them cattle and head for the border? Because I ain't dumb like you, Prairie. Randy's got to be got rid of. Otherwise, he could show his brand on them steers. I reckon you're right. Ah, if that masked gent hadn't swum his horse across the river and... Hey, Prairie. Huh? Yeah, that's it. It's dark, nobody to see. What are you mumbling about, Travis? Follow me and get your horse. Boys, hold your fire a second. Everybody but Rattler and Buzz, pile on your horses. What's your scheme, Travis? Rattler and Buzz will keep on shooting across the water to make the engine and Randy think we're all still here. The rest of us are going along the bank a ways. Then we swim across and pile right into them, Savvy. Now you're talking, Travis. When you hear the shooting start over there, grab your saddles and hightail across the river. You and Buzz can get across easy in excitement. Kino, we'll get them from both sides, huh? Yeah. Reckon it'll be right close to dawn. <laughs> That's one dawn that Randy won't never see. You all set? All right, Travis. Start shooting, you two. Come on, boys. <laughs> It's almost done now. Yeah, engine. You feel better now, huh? No fever? I wish I was stronger. Not all right. You get strong soon. Not the best I could do would be to roll down a hill, I reckon. You see, engine, uh, anything wrong? I don't mean not like sound of shots from cross water. Huh? All shots sound same. That's not good. What you talking about, engine? They're all shooting like blazes, regular, steady as clockwork. Uh, but maybe that fake. Maybe they are only two outlaw. Toto, you sure? You listen. Guns not sound like different guns. Just two. Yeah. Now that you mention, I ain't heard Travis's gun in quite a while. He has a new Sharps carbine. Makes a, a snapping sound like a whip. If them come from other side now, we have plenty bad time. But maybe... Yeah, Tano, you got a plan? Maybe so. Maybe so. Come on, boys. Right up there. Engine. Engine, that's Travis. They're on this side of the river. Engine, they got us. What are you shooting at, Prairie? It's Sam. It's the engine of Randy right there. Eh? There, see him? The dull gone engine. Can't you see straight? That ain't them. Well, I'll be. It's just some mesquite. Sure looks like them in this kind of light, don't it? Yeah, they gotta be around someplace. Randy couldn't do no traveling. Look this spot over. Skim around. They can't be far off. Hey, Travis. Travis. Yeah, Rattler? Travis, any of the boys been down that way? Near the river bank? Oh, nobody. Kino, then it's them. Right down there. They must be trying to duck under the water and keep hid. That's all I want to know. Follow me. Come on. Come on. Get him. Get him. Right there's the place. Let me at him. Hey, who's that? Travis. Travis, it's a mass man. He's got a posse with him. You're the man I want. You ain't get me, Master. Oh. All right, Travis, your gun is gone. Don't shoot again. You got us. We give up. Don't shoot, Tom. Drop your guns, all of you. You'll head them back for town, Sheriff. Mister, we sure will. But where's Randy? Toto. Toto. Travis, if you've done anything I to Toto, I ain't. We didn't find him. 
The whistle. Dotto! Dotto, you're safe. You're both safe. Yeah, mister. We rolled down to the hill in the water. Reckon you come just in time. And you're well, aren't you? Uh, him heap better now. Pretty soon, him all better. Then you'll head back to town with the others, Randy. I reckon so. Mister? Yes? You recollect what I asked you before? That whistle Tonto made. Are you still sticking by your promise? Let me give it to my son, Jim. Randy, what do you think? Ma! Ma, look, it's Pa with the posse. He's all right. And they got Travis and his whole gang. Molly! Jim, boy! Oh, it's good to see you. Oh, we were worried. We are so worried we rode after the posse. Are you all right? I will be soon, Molly. And these rustling skunks will land in the calaboose, thanks to the mask man. Well, did he help save you, Pa? Help? Why, son, he done it all. Him and his engine pard. Oh, by gravy, almost forgot. This here's for you. Why, gosh, it's a whistle. <laughs> yes, sir, that's just what it is, a whistle. A present to you from the Lone Ranger. Gosh. Dan, Dan, did you, did you say the Lone Ranger? Sure, that's who that mask man is. Didn't you know that? I thought he was an outlaw. That's why I was so concerned. That's why we came out here as fast as we could travel. We were worried clean to pieces. We... Oh, Dan, if I'd known it was the Lone Ranger, I wouldn't have worried one bit. No wonder them rustlers got caught. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger, Incorporated. <laughs>